Hi, I'm Melanie McQuaid and I'm the coach behind Melrad Multisport. Today I'm going to talk to you about what the philosophy is behind Melrad Multisport, what the Melrad Racing Squad is, why I have all these weekend camps all the time, and what is Try the Dirt in, in particular. So first let's talk about what my philosophy is behind my coaching and, and, and what my idea is behind it. Um, when I first created Melrad Racing Squad, my idea was to create an elite training squad that is scaled to an age group reality. So if, if I think about what a real uh, elite squad is like, it would be something like what Joel Filiol is doing where he has a group of Olympic level athletes that travel together around the world and train as a squad with their coach on deck and around them and seeing what they're doing like all the time. So. Most of the best athletes in the world have come out of that kind of environment where they have a coach that can see them develop every step of the way and is on deck all the time. There are elite athletes in Ironman that kind of have moved past that stage where they're doing mostly just sort of durability training and they're just putting in miles and at that point they may not need a coach on deck in front of them every day. And, but in general they have come out of that kind of a program where they have a coach that helps them really get their fundamentals. So when I look at a lot of athletes that I've coached, they don't have those fundamentals. They may have put in the yards and the miles and, and you know, like been, been working themselves over for decades and yet they, they're missing some of the, the key fundamental um, movement patterns or, or capabilities that, that would really unlock uh, more of their potential. And they need a coach like one-on-one -on -one in order to access that sort of gain. So, even if I could create a program that had some magical hour that every single athlete that has a job could arrive on deck to be with me every day, um, most people don't A, have that time, B, don't want to spend that much money for my time, and, um, and basically just I would never be able to have athletes that are all at that similar level um, of ability at the same time in order to have that kind of on deck coach environment. So instead of doing that, I, I have come up with a group that is at a similar level of experience and then that group comes to me periodically to have one-on-one -on -one sessions with me where we then go to work on um, identifying where their gaps are and then they go away and we get to work on addressing them and then they come back to me and then we revisit it. So in a nutshell, that's basically why I have camps so, so frequently, it's so that they can come back and have that one-on-one -on -one coach interaction with me. On a, on a fairly regular basis. The level of athlete that I coach is generally one that has a certain amount of athlete aptitude. So they kind of know, um, they know the, the, the basics of triathlon training. They know a little bit about themselves. They've been training for like two to five years. Um, they know how to communicate in like the lingo of triathlon. And they kind of know a little bit about what works for them. Um, and they have a, a, little, a little bit more experience just in the sport. Um, there, there are some exceptions to that, like I do take some beginners that are, that are new to triathlon, but those beginners often have like a, like a significant history in another sport. So like they ran or swam in college, or they were like a really great cyclist and now they want to take on triathlon. Because I think those athletes have, know a lot about themselves and, and are ready to be um, learning like from me in, in shorter spurts. Real beginners, I think, belong in a community program where they can start to learn a little bit about athletics in general and, and can get a lot more just from osmosis from other athletes. And, and, and I feel that way mostly because um, I just think that they don't need to spend money on us on a program that's specifically for them at that point. I think they're better off to have um, just like the fun and the, and the camaraderie of a, of a community. Working with me as a coach, what you get is like a, a personalized program that's just for you. It's based on your work schedule, um, what your strengths and weaknesses are. Um, we do a lot of communication back and forth. Programs are, are based on a, a season's plan, but, but often workouts only come a week at a time. Um, I do do limited group sessions when I, members of the group that can work well together, um, they, they, can do a, they can do a workout um, leading up to an event, but I don't have regular scheduled group sessions. So, so it's not really a fitness program where you can just show up every Tuesday and just do the program because not everyone in my group would be doing the same workout on a Tuesday. So, so it's not that kind of a program. Um, 
And, and, I, and I think that is the best way to use a group is that there are times when you need the motivation of the group to get a workout done, but I think just um, hammering it out and like battling at group sessions week after week is not really doing your own program. And, and it, it isn't, um, not everything has to be competitive or motivating. Sometimes it just needs to be work that's done at the appropriate um, intensity. And sometimes that's best done on your own, on your own time schedule and, um, and, and really not on someone else's schedule. Finally, try the dirt is an off-road specific camp. So you might have seen some of my Melrad camps. I encourage the athletes to get on mountain bikes and it's because I want everyone to have bomb-proof skills no matter what bike they're riding. So I did encourage some people to go out and rent a mountain bike for the day to come out and just ride on some gravel and just get used to riding that kind of a bike. Try the Dirt is for the next level of athlete that actually wants to race a mountain bike. And so we, we talk about um, what you need to, to know. We talk about specific skills for, for improving on your mountain biking. And um, it's, it's geared towards athletes that are racing Xterra. So if you're racing cross triathlon worlds in Ponte Vedra or you're going to any of the Xterra events in Canada or North America, um, what I do is I take athletes that may have come from an Ironman background that are like super fit, but feel like the mountain bike is really their weakness. And I break down riding a mountain bike into the, the basic skills you need to feel centered, stable, and in control. And once you have those three things in place, you can pretty much ride anything that's on the North American X territory. Maybe not some of the sections in Victoria, but we work on that specifically in, um, in Try the Dirt Victoria as well. So, um, so Try the Dirt is my off-road triathlon specific camp. So you're more than welcome to show up to that one as well if you've got some extras on your schedule this year. And that's a great opportunity to come and hang out with me for the weekend. I can try and like fire hose you with as much information as I can over a three-day period where you can go home super stoked up to get after those off-road goals. So in recap, the Melrose Squad is for experienced athletes that really need a personalized program of monthly training schedule. The Melrad Racing Squad Weekends, which are weekend training camps, are open to everybody. And I would encourage beginner athletes to come to those. You get to rub shoulders with my squad. I'd encourage athletes that are self-coached that just want a little bit of feedback on technique or, or trying to, to help them make like um, address some uh, anything in their in their training and just get some fresh eyes on them. like. That kind of an athlete could come to that camp and then yeah like experienced athletes if you want to come in and 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 come and see what's happening in that I just I what I would um, let people know is that Melrad racing weekends are not competitive and they're not super hard get fit in two days and a half sort of weekends they're, they're really technically fo focused and they're movement based so um, it's not an opportunity to like train it is actually tiring by the time you get through the weekend but that's not the objective is we're not there to, to blast ourselves with a crap ton of fitness so um, so it, it is a different camp in that respect it's not a hell weekend by by any stretch and then the try the dirt camps are are basically for athletes that want to race off-road so any questions <laughs> I know that's a lot of information just hit me up in the contact um, if you have any other questions and hopefully I meet some of you guys in 2019 at our upcoming Melrad Multisport events. Thanks again.